The doctor is in the house. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Project Hospital. Available, well, this October. October 30th, 2018. You can get your hands on this one, but for now, I'm going to start my own basic clinic and turn it into a wonderful hospital. Last time we started from scratch. This time, we're turning a basic clinic into a thriving hospital. So join me as the PhD, and my name stands for Pretty Hilarious Dinosaur. I think we're going to have ourselves a good time as we expand upon the already working emergency clinic and make some good money doing it. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button to let me know you'd like to see more of this content. Welcome, everyone. Make sure you check out the episodes, other episodes on this game as well. It is rather lit, very dank. I think it's very cool. I like this one a lot. It makes me excited for other hospital tycoons and airline tycoons game coming out this year. It's going to be really cool. All right, a little bit of a loading phase, but there we are, our new hospital. Look at that. All right, so the second floor is completely unoccupied, so let's go ahead and speed up time here and see what everything looks like as it's functioning. So the second floor has nothing on it. This is a prefab heli uh, helicopter, uh, hospital. Ooh, actually, that'd be cool if we could put a helicopter on top of the hospital. But what we need to do is get people up to the second floor and build ourselves a radiology department. On the left side over there, you see that there's a couple of goals, including treating 20 patients per day, opening a radiology clinic, and then also a uh, general surgery department as well. We have patients coming in to all of the different examination rooms and doctors are meeting with them as quickly as possible. Other types of nurses, doctors, and other staff are walking around doing what they need to do. But we need a radiology department and we're out of space on the first floor to pretty much put that anywhere. And I think we could take probably a better advantage of the second floor. So let's do that. We'll go over to the build tab and we'll go over to, uh, let's see, one of these options here has second floors. There we are. Elevators, a temporary function for that. Okay, we're going to build our elevator over here. I can see where the door is open and see if we can get people up to the second floor of our hospital. Well, I think we'll just put that thing right here. This should be good. All right, perfect. So that's uh, floor one. And then I think we can connect it to floor two. There it goes. Okay, so now people can get up to the second floor where we now can build our radiology department. That's where x-rays are taken so doctors can see broken bones and uh, any other sort of uh, torn ligaments and whatnot, uh, mostly for bones. But there are other things that they can detect through that as well and run other tests that uh, they're definitely going to need in order to better serve our patients. So let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, cool thing about this game is prefabs. If you're not very good at building things like me or uh, putting in everything in a nice layout, you can buy these prefab buildings and rotate them around put them anywhere you want in your hospital. So if you're more interested in uh, managing the staff and just want to quickly build your hospital, that's one great way to do it. So there's other different types of building, the CT room, MRI room. You can see it comes with all the different types of equipment that you need. So we'll start with a, a, just our regular radiology department, and that should be pretty good, I think, to start with. We've got a little bit of a window there, so that'll be a nice peek into the, uh, I guess, into the office here. So let's go ahead and put that down, and anybody who needs to can go up to the second floor. Oh no, Raptor, we're negative money. Well, don't worry about it. That's okay. First of all, there's no consequences in this game at the very moment for any sort of uh, bankruptcy or whatnot. But in the future game, you get a little bit of a little bit of a leeway. But don't worry. This is America, I'm assuming, because we're making a lot of money from patients coming to the hospital and uh, you know getting treated for uh, various illnesses or uh, diseases. This game has some very realistic diseases as well, including tennis elbow or just the simple common cold. Everything up to broken bones and immediate ICU traumas. So in the future episodes, we're going to see a full functioning hospital where there's emergencies and uh, crash episodes where, for example, there's a large pileup on the highway, a lot of people are injured, and they need our immediate help. They need the best doctors in the world, and that's what we're trying to be. So you can see people basically come into the clinic either down here through this door or over here uh, at the crosswalk. They then meet with the reception staff, they check them in, and then they meet with doctors as soon as they can to get them some sort of a cure treatment, uh, some sort of um, medication, whatever they might need in order to uh, possibly cure their condition if it is curable. All right, our goal now is to treat 20 patients per day. We have, I believe, three functioning clinics here, uh, three areas in which people are uh, being examined and treated, and we have all sorts of different technology on the desk. Ooh, a complicated diagnosis. Diagnosing a patient proved to be difficult for this doctor's diagnostic level. Help by uh, giving them a examination. All right, let's go to this patient here. Mm. Oh, nail discoloration and one hidden symptom. Mm, that could be, oh yeah, nail fungus, definitely, or athlete's foot. One of the two. Well, the best uh, test to give there would be either, let's see, a my, oh, my what? My uh, let's see, patient body used to determine, oh yeah, okay, that would be a good one, collecting a specific sample or a physical examination. Uh, I think we should actually take a sample from that patient. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll take a little sample of John Davis's nail, you know, just a little scrape and uh, put it in a test tube and see exactly what it is. There's a difference between athlete's foot and nail fungus as well. Athlete's foot is basically a real curable, uh, 
condition that's essentially just a little bit of a fungus that you can get an over-the-counter cream but if it's something a little bit more complex with the nail there's a little bit more uh, to treating that because it's a little deeper in the body a little harder to get a cream in there so thus medication may be needed thus the difference in treatment all right well doctors are making their rounds and we've got our radiology department up I think we should also build ourselves uh, the general surgery department but let's see kinda how things function here and here's our patient by the way who had athletes foot or possibly a nail fungus He's just chilling right there, and the doctor is running all sorts of different tests. I love how these doctors disinfect each time that they run a test. If you've ever been to the doctor before, every time they touch you, they are required to wash their hands and wear gloves and do all sorts of different things. So uh, it, it is, of course, a very uh, important safety thing, not only for them, but for everyone in the hospital. All right, looks like we've got another patient in here. Oh, they must have cured him, actually, because he, uh, oh, or is he not cured? I'm not sure. They must have given him something, otherwise they would have came back. I guess he's looking at the uh, little chart over there. Okay, well, we need to treat 20 patients. We've uh, treated three out of three so far, so that's a very good thing. We'll treat some more people throughout the day, and, uh, and I see we're making a lot of money here through all of our treatment. Of course, the insurance companies are paying the hospital as well. This is not always 100% out of the patient's hands. This could be uh, anywhere in the world, of course, where, of course, the hospital needs to be compensated. Look at all the people in the waiting room. That is a lot of people who need medical care, and we have, I think, three... Doctors working so far, people uh, working in the restroom. This seems to be the, uh, oh, this is the statistics lab over here where they're running tests on all sorts of uh, different, or possibly can run different tests on, uh, for example, a patient's stool, blood, urine. Exam examples uh, are endless, really. All uh, right, so let's see if anybody's up in the radiology department. In fact, they're not because we have to hire a staff member for that. So now that we've seen how the hospital functions, let's go ahead and uh, go back to our... Uh, running mode, we're going to hire a new staff member for the uh, clinic here. Let's go ahead and hire, uh, let's see, John Johnson. Wasn't there already another John Johnson on a different department? Well, anyway, he's a part of the day shift, so uh, we'll also need nighttime shift members as well, especially since this is going to be an emergency clinic. Uh, any sort of time, somebody could uh, be uh, affected where they're a vomiting child or something in the midst of the night. Very concerning for the parents and no time to wait when uh, the life of a child is on the line, or at least their well-being. Okay, let's see here. Looks like everybody's uh, checking in. These are auto, um, I guess, queue things here where they don't need to a actually meet with any sort of staff. They actually have a lounge over here, too, which I find to be interesting. The staff can uh, have kind of a break room, well, more of a, much more of a break room than usual. TV, couch, uh, area to eat, uh, locker room, books, music, that kind of thing. Very cool especially since staff might be uh, on call at any time or have to hang around. Okay, we've treated 10 out of 10 patients, and uh, we now need to open clinic at radiology. We've done that already. Uh, we have a radiology clinic up here, which is already good and ready to go. I think we just need to treat somebody there. It's already functioning. If any time they need to come up here, they should take the elevator and walk over here, unless the pathing is bugged, but there's really no other space on the first level for it. We could put it over in this building, but... This seems to be a better building for additional waiting rooms because we seem to have had a lot of patients down here. We might need some more clinics. Okay, let's see. 20 patients. We're at 15 out of 15. Good. I think we'll be good there. And treat one person per day at the surgery department, general surgery. Let's take a look at what that looks like. General surgery is here, general surgery department. Let's see what those uh, departments look like. Let's see if we can uh, put down a prefab for general surgery. Uh, common room, restroom, that's not exactly what that looks like. Cleaning closet, nurse's station, on-call room, restroom, uh, regular ward. Oh, okay, there we are. So we probably need, uh, let's see, a general surgery office. And actually, uh, is that, okay, general surgery office is actually look, looking like that. General surgery. That's interesting. There's even a consultation area. This is where I would assume they would remove warts or do any sort of <laughs> basic care. Cardiology, sonography, diagnostics. Wow, that is so cool. There's so many different things in this game. I like uh, to learn a little bit more about what kind of equipment is used. So a good uh, learning opportunity for anyone. And looks like they're taking uh, heart pressure, or blood pressure really. Or monitoring the heart, listening to that with the stethoscope. More people coming in. Very good. We're at 16 patients now. Very nice to see a bigger functioning hospital like this. We can even buy an ambulance as well, which I find to be very interesting. So let's see if we can uh, buy one of those now. Uh, I think the ambulance is under one of these buttons here somewhere. There we are. We can buy an ambulance and start calling in some additional uh, missions as well. All we got, all we got to do is park it somewhere. Uh, let's see. Where can we park this thing? Oh, you know what? I think we have to put it over here. Or at least that's where it po uh, pulls up for emergencies. Um, doesn't see we can put it anywhere. Should be able to. I've uh, made a purchase of it before. I don't know if we can actually 
Well, that'd be a strange place to put that, but uh, it doesn't look like we can put it anywhere for the time being. Let's try to paint it a different color. Maybe it's glitched out that way. No? Well, maybe we can put it down. It's just red. Let's try. Ambulance hasn't been unlocked. Oh, I see. It needs to be unlocked. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I've unlocked it before. Maybe we need to finish some more missions. All right, we're at uh, 16 out of 16. 19 out of 19 people. 16 was before. 19 out of 19. Good. That'll be done. And then we've opened our clinic at radiology, which is great. So we got ourselves a grant for that. Uh, 20 uh, patients per... 30 patients per day is now our next goal. Look at that go. Wow, the traffic here is immense. We need to make sure we have enough janitorial staff. Do we have any janitorial staff? We might need to hire some more people during the day for that. So let's go to, uh, let's see, emergency. Uh, let's go to cleaning staff. We're probably going to want to hire a couple of people. It looks like we don't have any sort of janitors at all, so that was definitely something we needed. And we only have one uh, res uh, receptionist, which is not great, considering all the patients we have. However, I will say that we do have our auto queues where people can uh, sign up online, check in when they get here, that kind of thing. You know, you go online, say, not feeling so good today, um, type in your sim symptoms, and then show up at the hospital. Or in this case, the emergency clinic. All right, cool. We can see all of the janitors going around and cleaning everything. High traffic areas are probably going to be the less less clean because they're even when they clean them, they're immediately um, <laughs> dirty again. You know how it is. All right, 30 patients per day is our next goal. We did uh, 25 patients today. That's pretty impressive. Cleaning staff and uh, regular doctors are finishing up for the day. And uh, there we go. All right. <clears throat> now I'm interested to know why it says open clinic at radiology is not complete. Because we have opened a radiology uh, clinic right here. This is our x-ray clinic. So if we click on radiology, that's where we went and put our prefab down. And if we look at it, here it is radiology. Oh, apparently we haven't assigned a staff to that. Although we did. That's interesting. Oh, there we are. Uh, employee has no workspace. Okay. Oh, I think it's because we have her on the day shift instead of the night shift. And that's okay. All right, let's continue on. All right. And they should be able to take the elevator to go back down. So that totally functions. We do have a radiology clinic there. I've done that before. Perfect. Well, we've got room for more hospital rooms and more, um, let's see, more general inspection rooms. Let's see what else we have for regular uh, patients. Let's see if we can build something new for them. Let's go to emergency. Let's go to prefab. Waiting rooms, no. Corridors, receptions, no. Uh, what else do we have? Emergency. Ah, here we are. General practitioner's office. Common room. 6x8, uh, 6x4. We probably want these smaller rooms. I don't know why we need them to be uh, so big. Let's actually put them... <laughs> that door would open over the, uh, over the thing there. That would be hilarious. All right, let's hire some more doctors so we can get some more patients in here. Uh, we're missing some staff, and that's okay. We're going to hire them. Uh, maybe we can hire some nighttime staff, but let's wait till daytime now. Uh, let's do, well, let's do our daytime hiring. Uh, we got our daytime staff. Let's hire three doctors for these. Um, let's go with uh, Dr. White, Dr. Miller, and Dr. Oh. Uh, Dr. Taylor. And they all appear as none because it's nighttime, so it'll have to say uh, tomorrow morning when they get hired. Or when they're working. See, they show up and <laughs> they're going home for the night. Okay, because it's not their uh, specific shift. Well, look at that. A room is uh, <clears throat> definitely uh, going away quickly. Oh, look. The janitors are cleaning uh, pretty much everywhere that they can. We should probably hire some nighttime janitors, too. So let's do that. Um, let's go ahead and hire some more staff here. Uh, go to janitors, nighttime. Uh, oh, we actually do have two nighttime staff. Oh, and two daytime staff. Oh, good. We have we have 24-hour shifts, then. On cleaning. That's very important at a hospital for various reasons. All right, so we have three rooms here for uh, general examinations. So if they need to, pa uh, patients can go up top. We can make this then a reception area and also this uh, first floor reception area uh, to help accommodate more patients and then have more general practitioners. There's a lot more people who are just coming here for common colds and, uh, you know, different, just different types of uh, random symptoms such as high blood pressure or sweating, that kind of thing that just needs to be monitored rather than like emergency surgery. However, that's what we're working up to and our radiology department is a part of that for sure. Treat one patient per day at the general surgery department. Let's do that. I want to try to build one of those now. Let's see if we can have someone to come in for general uh, surgery now. <clears throat> let's go to general surgery, common room. Uh, let's see, general surgery office. Let's see, where was that again? Oh, we might need a restroom in the second uh, floor as well. That might be an important thing. Looks like the door is over here. Let's put this in the corner office right there. 
Perfect. And then we'll assign a doctor to this for daytime. Let's go for, uh, let's see, a daytime doctor. <coughs> oh, can't do that yet. Switch it back to daytime. There we go. And let's put uh, Dr. White. Didn't we already hire a doctor for that? <coughs> Maybe not. Let's try it. Let's try that again. Missing staff. Uh oh Let's try that again. There we are. Dr. White. Daytime staff. Oh, it says none because, yeah, it's nighttime. There she goes. Perfect. She's going to go home and return in the morning. And, of course, we need to have ourselves a 24-hour-a-day shift here in order to, uh, you know, really keep things going. Wow, the janitors. We Okay. Second floor, we should probably add ourselves another uh, restroom and another um, janitorial closet as well. Let's see if we can scoot some things around. One thing I wish the game would do is continue playing during uh, my building operations, though it might be a little tough to build with people running all around. Oh, it looks like you can save your own designs, too. So if you make your own custom room and would like to save it, you can save it here for different types of uh, building in the future. That's, that's very helpful. Uh, let's build our uh, restroom over here, <clears throat> and we'll leave this corner here for a corridor, maybe resting area. And uh, we do need a janitorial closet, so let's look for that. ICU is here, too. Oh, that's the uh, templates of the uh, department, ICU, but that's okay, because those are uh, very common rooms. Observation room, restroom we already have. I'm looking for um, <clears throat> janitorial closet, so that should be under standard corridor, emergency... Uh, let's see. Nurse's station, stat lab. Oh, I must be missing the janitor's closet somewhere. Oh, wait. There it is. Cleaning closet. Four by six. That actually would fit nicely right over here. We just put the door in the right direction. Okay, there we go. We'll probably move the lockers because of the window. So let's move those just for, uh, you know, purposes of organization. We'll put uh, a set of lockers there. Okay, great. Looks good. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so uh, some of these goals I don't know if we'll get to, but I definitely like upgrading this to a clinic, uh, from a clinic to a hospital. And uh, we've got so many doctors rolling around here now. That's great. We've got doctors, nurses, technicians, uh, janitorial staff. One thing we probably should have in here is security, just in case someone gets a little crazy, but uh, or doesn't pay their bill. You know, they just pull out the taser and magically things happen. Oh, why was that re red? Is that a red alert? Uh oh, someone breaking in? Oh, uh, employee leveled up. All right, good. We got one of our employees has uh, leveled up in cleaning, which means they're uh, more valuable, faster working, that kind of thing. They've learned how to do their job more efficiently. That's great. All right, doctors are assigned to all rooms. We need more janitorial staff, don't we? However, they're not really needed on the second floor uh, at the moment, but we may as well hire a couple of people for daytime. I wouldn't imagine it getting too busy. So let's assign these guys to the emergency department. Let's get a, uh, let's see, uh, just a janitor for now. How about that? Uh, can not assign you to the room? What's going on there? Let's see if I can uh, assign via the room. There we go. Uh, no, I want to hire staff. Huh. Oh, I see. This must be under different category. Okay, I must have accidentally had it under, like, uh, a different department. Let's see here. ICU surgery. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, you know, there there should be another category or tab for just general services. Like, I don't think... A uh, janitor is specific to like surgery, or they just do you know they just do whatever to to get things clean. You know, I don't think we necessarily need to do that. Let's hire this way. Okay, and these guys are oh they're nighttime staff. Uh, oh that's okay. We can we can actually hire them for daytime later. Let's do a little. Uh, let's actually speed things up. So we're gonna wait through the night. It's 6 a.m. now. I think the hospital opens at uh, actually 7 a.m. So everybody's arriving to work 30 minutes early, getting ready for the day. And our next wave of patience is incoming. Now, patience, everyone. There, there's going to be a lot of it. Well, what? You see that guy? Did he go? Do you go home with the uh, cleaning closet or what? Uh, Jane Johnson doesn't have a workspace at the moment because uh, radiology. Ooh, you're experienced in that. Um, well, just stay out there. We'll we'll get a job for you soon enough. It's okay to have one extra uh, staff member, I guess. And we're not losing any money from it for now, so we'll just hire them elsewhere when the time comes. Not, and I'd hate to fire them because if you do that, I don't think you get them again as somebody you can hire at the hospital. So we'll just hold on. Today's goal is to treat 30 patients, open clinic at radiology, which we have, and treat one patient uh, in the uh, general surgery department. So that's just if somebody comes in. So we got our doctor waiting here in the general uh, surgery area. And then, of course, our three other... Uh, oh, there's no waiting room available at radiology. No valid waiting rooms within reach of the radiology rooms. Okay, so we actually need to have each individual department having their own waiting room for specific services? That's interesting. Okay, let's try to do a waiting room then where we wanted to before. Uh, let's put a waiting room 
Oh boy. Oh, right here would be fine for the. Uh, that gotta be fine. Or over here. Oh, that would be nice. Actually, that's perfect. Let's put that right there, and that'll be for our. Uh, that's associated now with the radiology department, so that should fix that. And I don't know if we need, um, we might need some Q machines there so they can check in specifically for that. So let's do that. Um, let's see here. Um, building mode. Uh, EKG machine. I want something for check-in, though, for reception. Uh, we want it under radiology. Build. Oh, it goes back there. Waiting room. Ah, here we are. Q machine. Perfect. We'll just put that over here. And people can just check in whenever they reach this floor. Okay. So that'll let the uh, radiologist know that they're here for that. That's interesting, though. We'll uh, have to develop a little bit more of that. Okay. I'm learning things as we go along, too. So I guess it does make sense that you'd be, you know, if, if you go, if you come from, uh, you know, the, the general practitioner and they say we're going to need an x-ray, then they send you up to the second floor where you wait again for the radiologist. So it, it does make sense, actually. Um, and then again, we don't have a waiting room for our general practitioners on the second floor. But I'm hoping that that brings patients up here eventually. Actually, I'm not seeing any of those doctors at work here. I hope I didn't hire them for nighttime staff. Let's see. Uh, they're under the surgery department. Are they not? None for emergency. None for radiology. None for ICU. I must have hired them at nighttime then. Couldn't have made that mistake, did I? No, it doesn't look like they're assigned anything. That's interesting. Ah, eh, whatever. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe they're actually hanging out on the first floor until somebody comes. I don't know. I don't know if they're on break or what. Okay, we've got 8 out of 8 uh, patients now. We've got a 3-star rating, which should be increasing as our services increase, as well as our uh, our doctor's skills. Now, I don't really see anybody waiting too long. One woman sitting down in the corridor there. Maybe two people. Oh, wait, three. Okay. So we definitely need some more doctors here. And I don't, I don't see any of them at their desk, but the general uh, surgeon is over there. We have our clinic opened up radiology. And we did open our clinic here. I think we need to, uh, well, yeah, we have, our we have our reception. This is part of that. This is uh, connected to the radiology department, right? Yeah, that's why it's lit up. Those two are connected. Okay. Well, that should be working. However, I did see a red marker there. What does that mean? Mm, doesn't say. Waiting room one, x-ray one. Staff, lab technicians, too. I don't think we need any doctors in order to take x-rays. That doesn't seem to make sense. Okay, let's go back down one floor. Or, before we do that, let's find out why these people aren't at work today. Uh, let's see. Maybe they're just lazy. I don't know. Missing staff. Oh, didn't we hire them, though? We hired people. It says missing staff. So let's go emergency radiology. Ah, it doesn't look like there's any staff at all. Although we hired doctors, didn't we? They must have ran off. Okay, let's try that again. I may have uh, forgotten to hire them. I don't know. Okay, well, now we can accommodate more pas uh, passengers, <laughs> more patients. Our capacity has increased to uh, treat. And we're up to 20 out of 20 patients treated today. And it's only, it's like 5 o'clock, uh, almost uh, 4 o'clock. There we are, 4 o'clock now. Wow, that's a lot of patients that we can deal with. 21 patients today. Very nice. Dude, this is, this is really starting to become a hospital. Most clinics don't have a radiology department or any sort of ability to do basic surgeries, but then we can move on to having uh, more uh, detailed surgery rooms very soon. Everybody's leveling up. People are coming up here. That's good. Nobody at the uh, radiology clinic, but our next goal is to reach 30 people and to open uh, or to have one patient treated at the general surgery department. I'm assuming that somebody needs to first come here with a problem in order for us to do that. So we have to actually have somebody, you know, come here who needs a surgery. So we can only complete that one if somebody's injured enough or whatnot to have a basic surgery. Could be as simple as a sprained ankle. I don't know if that really requires a surgeon because I don't know if, I don't know. But uh, all right, there goes the staff home. There's our uh, x-ray technician. I'm freaked out by that. I wonder, I must have done something wrong there, but it seems working because there's a reception room on the second floor with these cues which should allow people to walk up, sit down, and then meet with the radiologist as needed. However, also, perhaps it's not functioning because somebody doesn't yet need a, uh, doesn't yet need a, uh, 
X-ray. All right, let's go back down to the first floor. Janitorial staff is doing their thing. Man, is this place filthy? And why are they cleaning like that? They seem to miss some spots. Oh, there they go, though. Oh, they're making it nice and uh, nice and clean. Boy, some of these areas just get super dirty. Like, people are just walking around in just mud boots. It's like, uh, hey, honey, the uh, the boots that I wore when we went out four-wheeling last week? Yeah, let me have those. I'm going down to the hospital. Like, what? Oh, my goodness. This is really cool. I love seeing this uh, thing go up. We're almost uh, up to our next day again. Just a couple more hours. Staff walking around here. This must be our nighttime uh, doctor. Are they on the second floor? They're all kind of hanging out on the first. Janitorial staff's doing their thing. They're done. Good job, everybody. Wow, still more. Still, look at that. They're just, as doctors are just walking around, they're still making a mess. That is crazy. All right, what other buildings can we uh, put down here? So we actually have $765 in the bank. Let's see what else we might be able to put down. Uh, we have intensive care, of course, our general surgery, and then our uh, radiology as well. Um, and we don't have anybody for nighttime shift on that one, but we do have daytime shift. And uh, actually, does this need to be here for this to function? It shouldn't because it's in the prefab. It doesn't seem to be required. But okay, there we go. That's functioning at least. And let's take a look at... Uh, Let's see, certainty, set up value of certainty, which can be used to confer, to confirm diagnosis. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about that. Chief doctor for intensive care unit. We don't, I think intensive care is a little bit more important than general surgery. I think that's a step up. That's like, for example, if somebody comes in a trauma unit from an accident, that's where they're going to go. So let's go ahead and add another building on here while we have the time, while we're waiting for nighttime to pass, let's switch it to general surgery and take a look at some more prefab buildings that we can uh, grab here. Let's go to prefabs for surgery, restrooms, on-call rooms, cleaning closet, diagnostic unit. Oh, that's actually very important. Uh, that could uh, be another uh, general surgery building here. Uh, we'll put that right there. I love these prefab buildings. I did like it building my own clinic on my um, on my own. Uh, but once you get up to this level, like starting to upgrade from a, an advanced clinic to a, a more basic hospital, boy, do things get real complicated. You need to make sure you've got all this equipment. This could take a long time to you know make sure you've got everything off the checklist. But for those of you who want to build everything from scratch, you can do that. Everything from the tiling. Uh, this is really cool in this game too. You can uh, you know if if you'd like to, you can put down all sorts of different tiling. Uh, between the rooms, however you want to do it, I'll just leave it for now since I know you know we're pretty much <laughs> good. It's just it's just general layout, very nice. All right, let's see how things work for the next day. It's uh, 2 a.m. All right, well this is what's going to be fun about this game is you're constantly on the left side getting different types of goals that need to be completed, similar to like pl Prison Architect, where it's like take 50 uh, take 50 new uh, people online or something like that. You know, get get more people into the hospital or or. Uh, do this or that or treat these people or you know however they want you to do it that's the way you do it and of course what I really like the most about the game is the isometric art style and the ability to uh, take a look at the clinic from afar or the hospital and it's actually painted differently so it's kinda cool to see the different wings where you could see uh, possibly we could build an intensive care unit here or put our elevator elsewhere demolish the first floor whatever you want to do but that's why the uh, possibilities in Project Hospital are endless. So that's it for now, everybody. Thank you very much for watching as we expanded a clinic into a uh, somewhat of a hospital, I would say, uh, as we have the ability to perform generic surgeries and to treat more patients. We uh, went from being able to treat uh, like 20 people to almost 30 people. I think we'll be able to take them on today. But again, it all depends on how many people come in. So that's it for now. T join me next time where we go on to the ultimate hospital, the biggest build of the largest hospital in the game, and then we'll go back to uh, expanding our original clinic and uh, going on to expanding that into a hospital such as this one. So if you like the game, re make sure you uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know. And thank you, everyone, for your support. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. The doctor is leaving the building. Goodbye, everyone.